What's going on everybody? It's now Sunday afternoon. I'm just going to shoot down to the beach. The conditions aren't anything special. So I'm just going to grab the GoPro and go for a little skim. It is low tide, so we'll go for a bit of a run around. I've got a f quite a few things to do this afternoon. Yeah! <laughs> come up to my sheds and with summer fast approaching I do want to cover the topic of sponsorships not just here on this vlog but also on the main channel and that's why I've come to the sheds I'm gonna film a video right now called how to not get sponsored now I'm always asked how to get sponsored but I think it's sometimes probably easier to actually highlight the issues around skimboarding sponsorships and not just skimboarding but a lot of other small sort of extreme sports as to how we go about it and, and especially the key things that you guys out there can, can basically increase your chances of not only being sponsored but keeping your sponsorships because I run through a cycle almost yearly with people and people who I not so much sponsor but put onto the team and I will be highlighting the reasons as to why they are no longer on the team and things like that. And, and trying to get a, a better understanding for you guys out there, it does sound very boring because the reality of it is is that sponsorships are actually quite boring and they're not as exciting as you'd think. Um, but I would like to talk return on investment or ROI um, probably in a more long term thing and getting you guys to actually understand the transaction of the sponsorship from a business side because it is actually a business transaction all the time. But I think most riders are looking at it just for what's in it for them when the reality of the transaction is, is the complete opposite. It's what's in it for the company. Right, I've just finished filming that video. Here's the reasons how to not get sponsored. Be a dick, quit, expect everything for nothing, be a hipster, and right like this. Now those are my, it's a very casual review. You can see that on the main channel. It'll be annotated right here and all that. Um, I do, like I mentioned just before, I do want to cover a lot more, a lot more topics like these, but basically I'm going to go home now, um, go over a few things, and I'll of course e start editing up this vlog. Well that's pretty much a wrap for the vlog, but before you go, I am looking through these new Formica colours now. I'm going to be ordering this week, and this one here, and I think that one there are going to be the purchases, because we will be mixing colours up. Um, it's pretty actually tricky, I found a fantastic supply of cheap Formica, so there's not going to be any price increases, which is great. Um, I am Sam Price, I will see you at the beach. We have to write like a complete Dumbass, <laughs> never did anything at school. Um, this is important to me purely because it's a communication as aspect and how you are going to be viewed. Now, while this isn't a 